This is Chris. He giggles when looking into fuel tanks. <laughs> he used to be a captain at my current airline, but today he's captaining the Cessna 172 for the first time in a long time. Can the giggling airline pilot pass the test that I'm going to throw at him? Stay tuned and find out, because this is Lou Dick's Aviation. Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. Check, yeah, check, check, check. Shush you know. your shit headset. You can't hear me. Oh, you can't. Hello? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got it. Airline pilot. Less experienced airline pilot. Wants to get a checkout in a 172. Flies an Airbus for an, an unnamed... Uh, yellow, yellow company. Yellow company, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. He, yeah, whoops. He drives taxis. So, uh, so yeah, welcome to it. You've seen him before. Uh, Chris, uh, his name's Chris. Hello again. He's ready to show us his skills in a Cessna 172. You've already seen it in the Piper Warrior. Now, now can you do it in the 172? Executive Grand Low Spirit, uh, November 781 Bravo Golf over at the uh, Atlantic ramp, Northwest departure via far information, Papa and taxi. 781 Bravo Golf, Executive Grand, uh, hold your position. I got some folks I'm exiting from the one ring. All right, hold position, uh, 781 Bravo Golf. Oh, I thought it was gonna happen one. Okay. It's so funny that I'll be doing the same thing at, uh, with oh, okay. Silver. <laughs> Scott one Bravo Golf, from a 25 at Alpha 2, taxi via Echo and Alpha. While we're taxiing out for the checkout, I'd like for you to check out, see what I, uh, I, I did, please don't click off. This video sponsor, Surfshark. We're back in the skyboat today, which means we'll be floating around all morning. But you know what else is floating around at all times of the day? Hackers, fishers, and malware trying to infiltrate your computer, phone, and tablet. Listen, these are the devices that you use to watch these amazing aviation videos and also study for your pilot training. So why not protect it with Surfshark VPN? Surfshark encrypts your online data and hides your true location from online criminals, which means that no hackers or fishers have access to your personal data which they can use to gain access to your device. With everything being online these days it's crucial that you protect yourself like I do with Surfshark. The clean web feature blocks ads and malware is stopped in its attempts to corrupt your device. Not only do you get protection but you can also use Surfshark to watch whatever you want wherever you want. Region lock content is a thing of the past. Watch how easy this is. Firstly, I enter my profile on Netflix, which is clearly mine and not my girlfriend's because you saw my name there, yeah? I type in The Office, which every few months I crave a marathon of, but oh no, it's not available in the United States. Whatever are we to do? I happen to know it's available on the UK Netflix. So, as quickly as you like, I'm connected to a different server. Surfshark now has servers in over 100 countries, by the way. And you can see that my true location is hidden and I'm encrypted. I'm safe. I hit refresh and the office pops up for me to watch. Friends even popped up as well, which isn't available for me either, so win-win. So, if you want to be protected on public Wi-Fi or anywhere you go, get Surfshark right now. It's affordable, even without my discount code, to be honest with you, but they've upped my discount percentage up to 85% off. Follow the link in my description or the pinned comment and sign up for Surfshark using code LUDIX, 85% off plus three months for free. What a deal. Thanks to Surfshark for supporting Ludix Aviation. Now let's put this airline pilot through his paces. <laughs> but this way, if that's okay with you, that's, I'm absolutely fine with that. Doing everything right. Everything well, right. I don't want you to shout at me, to no, be honest. No, but listen, so. I'm looking for stuff. You want to give me like a soft field takeoff? Yeah, we can try that. Laps <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, 10. <laughs> do you know why we do soft field takeoff? Why, yes, Lewis, it's to, uh, in case we're taking off on like a grass runway, we want to get the nose wheel off the ground as soon as possible. And the aircraft airborne. I like it. All right, your knowledge is still there. That's the ground portion done. There's 7 one Bravo Golf. Exit tower, northwest bound departure, approved runway. 25 up, 2 clear for takeoff. Uh, northwest approved, 25 clear for takeoff, and um, 7 one Bravo Golf. Final. Runway's clear. Lights are coming on. Wind, 2206. A ball takeoff. <laughs> Alright man, we'll keep it rolling. Do it. You look like you're excited to see how much I'm gonna mess this one. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the sky, man. Up, up and away. <laughs>
All right, that's your catchphrase then. All right, I've got welcome to the sky. You got up, up, and away. Right, we all need one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, up, up, and away. You got to do the hand motion as well. <laughs> What altitude are you flying to, uh, climbing to, Christopher? Uh, 1,300 feet, Lewis. Why are you doing that? Because we have the Class Bravo airspace above us at, I think, 16. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I thought airline pilots didn't have to care about airspace anymore. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, it's not uh, true. That's not true at all. You seem already, like, comfortable. Like, you seem more comfortable than the PA-28. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you want to do first? You want to do a little bit of maneuvering? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's play with this first. Yeah. Boom. Look at that, man. There we go. Still knows how to use a full. We can foot. freaking find our way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just for, yeah. All right. Uh, head to the north side of the lake, just over there. Roger. Oh, How's uh, your buddy Conrad getting on with his CFI stuff? He's, uh, he's all right. He's got one student at the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, he passed? Yeah, yeah. The CFI? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, First sorry. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time. Oh, that's pretty rare. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good job for yeah, him, man. Really wow. is. How long was his oral? Four hours? Yeah, it's yeah, pretty typical, yeah. yeah. How long was your oral for the air, Airbus? Um, maybe, a couple of, uh, maybe a couple of hours. A couple of hours, yeah. yeah. So this, the CFI was a hell of a lot worse than any of my type ratings. Yeah, I'd say mine probably was as well. I mean, mostly just coming from flying in the UK, in the UK and then yeah. obviously I had to, when I first came out here, I had to knock out the commercial instrument CFI pretty quickly right. in order to be able to and, you know, do the, G, the EASA instructing. Right, yeah, yeah. So coming from like no background in FAA or American aviation, it was like yes, yeah. drinking through a fire hose. I suppose so, yeah. You know? yeah. That's what everyone keeps saying whenever you go to a new airline, don't they? They're like, it's going to be like drinking from a fire hose. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I heard that uh, one before. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, what you're saying is I'm just going to live in a hotel room for four weeks yeah. and not, not talk to anybody. Exactly. All right, uh, put me into some slow flight on west. Slow flight west? Yeah. All right, man, pretty maneuver checklist. We'll just do a high station to recover. Airframe is uh, clean for now. Probably going to use some flights for the slow flight. Uh, Seatbelt secure, doors and latch, windows closed. Uh, location clear of any uh, buildings, people, etc. cetera. One feet above all that stuff. And we'll do a quick look at turn if that's okay with you. Yeah, love it. It's like you've never been aware. Proper professional, you, you can proper tell you're an airline pilot. Yeah, we'll do slow flight, absolutely filthy, and then once you've done that for a little bit... Uh, we'll and then we'll put some flaps in <laughs> Yeah. Let's just strip off now. We'll transition into a power off stall from that. Put one ten, plus one. That's one plus F. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I want you to get it as slow as you can without uh, the stall warning going. Okay. Hey Chris, how are those controls? Are they feeling mushy? They feel very sloppy, Lewis. Oh, wow. Chris, wh why is that? <laughs> I would say it's because we're practically going backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I literally am looking out over the lake and I... We're not moving very much. Yeah. Well, east of oh, Christopher, that, that must mean you're doing something correctly. Absolutely. How's that for you, Captain? Yeah, yeah that's that's great. A little bit of info. Uh, he used to be at Silver Airways with me. Uh, we flew the Saab together. He was my captain on the Saab. This was the first guy, first captain that ever allowed me to make uh, passenger announcements. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> and I remember how nervous you were as well all the time. Uh, uh, I'm like, Lewis, it's Florida. Just tell them it's 85 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Wherever we go, it's going to be 85 degrees. You're trying to calculate it from Celsius. Uh, <laughs> all right, stall it. All right. Can we just do it like we're coming in for landing? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Power off stall? Yeah, cool. exactly, yep. Coming in for landing. Got his approach speed. Hey, 65. Da, 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 da. Stupid airline oh, pilot. Oh no, the power's gone. We're trying to stretch the glide. Oh no. Today. Now no, stall, please. <laughs> wow, very docile. Hey, Christopher, I got a question for you. Yes, yeah, sir. What's the first thing that you should be doing in a, in a stall when the aircraft stalls? What's, what's your first thing? First thing you want to do is the airplane will easily aerodynamically recover without adding any power. So you want to lower the nose, reduce the angle of attack, 
and then you can go down as much as you want before adding any power. Oh, that's brilliant. It'll basically recover once you get the, the airflow back to the wing. Exactly. The only reason why we really add a lot of power is to reduce the uh, altitude loss in the recovery, right? So, I, wow. You should be an instructor. <laughs> you know, I'll be thinking about it. Yeah. All your ex-students watching this, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I know, like John. Remember John yeah. coming on the last yeah, video? Yeah. Hey, John. <laughs> John's a great guy, though. Yeah. Although, John, you still haven't invited me uh, over to Kissimmee to fly your aeroplane, so... <laughs> John. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Sounds like a bit of a to me, but anyway... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, John. We love you, John. All right, give me a power on stall. Oh, yeah, love those. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> this, if there's ever going to be a time where this spins, <laughs> now is it. <laughs> Trim or no trim? No trim. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Uh, I, I always do it with trim. Do it oh, with you trim. do? Yeah. Oh, one of those. Yeah, exactly. Cheater! <laughs> well, your left arm looks like it needs a workout. This one's absolutely fine. <laughs> no idea why. Oh, no, I, <laughs> no idea why. No filth on this channel. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Family friendly. Chris was blasting through all the manoeuvres that I was asking him to perform with no difficulty at all. So as any good CFI who's given instruction to a fellow airline pilot with much more experience than them would do, I raised the standard of performance and for the landings decided to go to Orlando North Air Park. You've got to be on point, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think you can do it. All right. The runway down there is around 2,600 feet long and 50 feet wide. So for an airline pilot who's been landing on long, wide runways in heavier metal, this will be a test. But yeah, you come in between two sets of trees. Uh, okay. At the approach end, uh, just be careful of that. But it's it's wide enough for you to get through. Got you. But yeah, this is where uh, the maintenance space is for these planes. Oh, okay. So no if you have an engine out right now, this is the perfect. This is perfect. Place to be. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Apart from it's a long walk back to exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you fancy it, but we could also do an impossible turn if you want. There we go. The only thing with the Cessna is, is you completely lose the the runway and the base turn, you know? You do, exactly. Why is that, Christopher? Oh, because the wing's in the way. Ah, well. <laughs> oh yeah, look at those trees. Yeah, yeah, they're on final. You can see the trees in question at the approach end of the runway and they look deceptively narrow to thread the needle. However, as you get closer, you start to see that there's plenty of space between them. It's not overly difficult to land here for experienced pilots. However, it could throw you out of your routine if you're not prepared for the change in visuals from your average airport environment to this one. This is a hefty crosswind. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Enjoyment. Oh, the windsock's pretty dead, actually. Yeah, pretty limp. Yeah! Plenty That's of uh, runway. Let's go. Plenty of runway. Oh, welcome back to the sky. All right, go around, do another one, uh, and uh, on the next one we'll do the impossible. Okay. What altitude do you want to do the impossible turn? Uh, probably at least 300. A, <laughs> at least a thousand. <laughs> at least a thousand, rather. Yeah, cool. Uh, it'll be interesting because there's not much of a headwind or a tailwind. Yeah, exactly. So, because it's crosswind, so I'll be interested to see. Honestly though, man, it's like you've never been away. I wonder if it would feel different in that seat, because that's obviously got hundreds of uh, probably at least a thousand hours in that right seat. You want to switch? Huh? You want to switch? Uh, no, it's all right. Okay, climbing over each other. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suits you, sir. <laughs> On and off traffic, Sky 71 Bravo Golf on the left downwind runway 27. It's going to be a touch and go. On the departure leg, going to do a simulated engine out procedure to runway 09. On and off. Alright, brakes on the carriage. On the carriage? Fixed. <laughs> yep, still there. Extra fuel pumps not quiet, or lights are on. No pappy, no problem. <laughs> well, I like that. That's, that's my call sign. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> no pappy, no problem. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Deeper issues there. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for a little bit of speed up this time. Roger. Yeah, those trees are close. They are, yep. Nice scenery though. Yeah, it's beautiful. Get my knee out your way again. Oh 
<laughs> yeah, that was even better. <laughs> Bob's up, T's and P's in the green, 55, off we go. All right. I'm sure you've done one of these before. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this will be interesting. Yeah, we're going quite far out, right? A little bit. Yeah, we're f***ing miles out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's gone. Gone. We'll see what looks out. Yep. Go for it. See ya. Whoops. All on and off, Sky781 Bravo Golf. On, well, we were on the departure leg for uh, runway 27, making the turn back for simulated engine out procedure to runway 09. All on and off. Now, this will be interesting. Even if we can't make it, because when I did this the other day with a student, we were making it back every time, but we had a tailwind pushing us back to the runway now. Okay. Now, we don't really have that, so this will be interesting. Good thing is, if this was real at all on the north, you got the grass at the beginning that you could use. Yeah, true, yeah. But, yeah. obviously, we're not going to do that today, but we'll see. You know, as we've made the turn, it's actually it not looking terrible. Yeah, it's gone a bit better. I, I put that down too. I was thinking that that's why I probably made the left turn off the engine failure because going into the headwind into, it would yeah. just give me a little bit of lift in the turn as well, as well as slowing down for the glide. So, what? Chris, you should really consider <laughs> <laughs> career in flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's one. Yeah, uh, we've made it easily. Look at that. And that's even with very little tailwind. Interesting. We run off the end of the runway. I know. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll do a uh, full stop. Easily made it. We're not stretching for it either, so that's good. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're glorious. You're over the runway at beautiful speed. Love it. My hero. We saved us. Let it roll out. Live to fight another day. Yeah, exactly. Live to fly another day. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Very, very nice. I dare say, mate, you, you're passing your check ride at the moment. This, you could. What a relief. It could be a PPL. There's worse things to do on your day off. Yeah, I suppose so. Peace and peace in the green. Let's go. See ya. On and off. Sky setting on Bravo Golf. On the roll, runway 27. On and off. <laughs> No, honestly, mate, I I'm not trying to patronise you or anything, but <laughs> it's really good. It's considering you've not flown one of these for a while and you're used to your cushy job and on your Airbus and all that. Like, <laughs> no, honestly, though, I love coming out and doing stuff like this because, as you know, when you've been there and done it, you get into, like, a routine. Yeah. I, you know, even when I was at Silver, I'd still kind of keep my hand in the flight instructing stuff right. just because it's yeah. something different. Yep. I love, I love everyone I've ever taught, to be honest. It just right. gives you a different opinion on things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. What do you want to do now? Uh, head back to Alt Exec. All right, cool. Well, there we have it. I put an airline pilot to the test in a light aircraft and he knocked it out of the park. Chris is a good friend of mine, but also someone I've looked up to in the airline world. So it was great of him to allow me to record our flight today. Massive thanks to him and also a massive thanks to you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like as it helps me reach more people and also subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really like to grow and get closer to that 100,000 subscriber mark. One more thank you before we get to the landing back at home. Surfshark have sponsored my channel for a long time and I really appreciate their support so far. The VPN's amazing and so easy to use so if you're interested don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment and use my discount code LUDIX. You're going to save 85% off plus get three months for free. It's a good deal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on LUDIX Aviation.